Several controversial issues on today's Austin City Council agenda had people lining up outside City Hall, waiting for the chance to make their voices heard. Council chambers hit capacity early, so it took patience for people to speak out about the transgender protection resolution. It tells Austin police that the state's gender-affirming health care restrictions are not a priority for enforcement. I began identifying as trans at age 11. Soren Eldaco says she's a former trans kid who's against the resolution. She's now suing those who transitioned her as a teenager. I needed competent therapy and love, not drugs and plastic surgery. Others like Chloe Goodman say the transgender community should be protected, not treated as political pawns. This resolution, your decision, your vote, this is all we have to keep people in their hometowns and keep people feeling safe. So I hope you will pass the resolution to protect health care. The resolution states that any Texas law banning puberty blockers, hormone therapy, and other gender affirming care will be the lowest priority for city personnel. Council Chambers was split between those for and against the measure. Children are smart, but not wise. They cannot consent. And we don't even let anyone under 18 get a tattoo. Why are we sterilizing them with experimental medicine? If you truly care about kids in Texas, let the parents of these kids be the ones to decide what is best for their children. Let Austin be a safe haven for my community. Mackenzie Kelly was the only council member who voted against the resolution. To me, this resolution sends an explicit yet confusing message to our law enforcement officers to act in conflict with state law. The sponsor says he hopes the resolution shows trans people Austin does not support the trampling of their rights. Trans people deserve the right to self-determination. Our state has forced them and their medical providers into hiding and that is wrong. Austin should not be a party to that any more than we legally have to be. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.